Here are the black and white images reflecting Remembrance Sunday. They're intended to convey the historical significance and reverence of the day. How do they look to you? You can check out the images in our conversation history. They look pretty good, but uh, perhaps the same photographs in sepia? These sepia-toned images are now ready, aiming to provide a sense of the bygone era and the enduring spirit of Remembrance Sunday. Do they resonate with the mood you wanted to achieve? You can check out the images in our conversation history. Absolutely perfect. Uh, can we change the subject? Maybe make... A f uh, I'm a glad to hear that you're pleased with them. I am. Uh, if there's anything more you'd like to discuss or create, I'm here to help. What would you like to talk about next? I'd like to talk about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are a vivid and powerful symbol from the book of Revelation in the New Testament. They are meant to represent four different events or figures that will occur or appear before the end of the world. The first is conquest, riding a white horse, followed by war on a red horse, famine on a black horse, and death on a pale horse, each with their own set of symbolic meanings and interpretations. They've been the subject of much theological discussion and artistic representation. What aspect of the four horsemen would you like to explore? Can you tell me more about War on a Red Horse? Certainly. The figure of War, or the Red Horseman, is often interpreted as representing conflict and bloodshed. According to the Book of Revelation, this horseman is given a large sword and the power to take peace from the earth, inciting mankind to kill one another. The red color of the horse is traditionally associated with blood and violence, which fits the theme of war. The symbolism of the large sword might be interpreted as the overwhelming power and destructive force of war. The red horseman's role is to kindle war. Can we uh, can we make strike, a reflecting the Hello? brutality and chaos of conflict? It's a potent symbol that has been used to discuss the nature of war throughout history. Is there a specific angle of this symbolism you're interested in? Uh, can you make me a surreal photo of the red horseman? Here are the images of the Red Horseman. Take a look at these surreal depictions and see what you think. You can check out the images in our conversation history. Can you give me a recipe for pancakes? Sure, here's a simple recipe for making pancakes. You'll need 100 grams of plain flour, two large eggs, 300 milliliters of milk, a pinch of salt, butter for frying. To make the batter, one, put the flour and salt into a large bowl. Make a well in the center and crack the eggs into it. Begin whisking from the center, gradually drawing in the flour from the edges. Two, slowly add milk, whisking constantly until you have a smooth batter. Three, let the batter stand for about 30 minutes. To cook the pancakes, one, heat a nonstick frying pan over medium heat and add a knob of butter. Two, once melted, add a ladle of batter, tilting the pan to spread it thinly. Three, cook for about one minute on one side until golden, and then flip. Four, cook the other side for another minute or until golden. Serve with your choice of toppings like lemon and sugar, syrup, or fresh berries. Would you like to know anything else about making pancakes? Can you make me a photograph of the most mouth-watering pancakes you can imagine?
DAL E is currently experiencing high demand. I've created one image based on your description. If you imagine something different, let me know and we can try another one when the demand decreases. You can check out the images in our conversation history. That looks very appetizing. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you liked it. If you have any more ideas or need something else, just let me know. What else can I do for you regarding pancakes or any other topic? Well, what about a main course to follow? main course following pancakes, you might consider something with a balance of protein and vegetables to round out the meal. How about a classic roast chicken with seasonal vegetables? Or if you're looking for something lighter, a grilled salmon with a fresh salad could be delightful. Both options provide a nice contrast to the sweet and carby pancakes. What sort of main course are you in the mood for? Uh, main course with chicken. Great choice. Here's a straightforward idea for a chicken main course. You could go for a herb roasted chicken breast. Season the chicken with rosemary, thyme, garlic, salt, and pepper, and roast it in the oven until it's cooked through and the skin is crispy. Serve it with a side of roasted vegetables like carrots, parsnips, and potatoes, and perhaps some steamed green beans or broccoli for a pop of color and nutrition. Or you might like a chicken stir fry with a variety of vegetables such as bell peppers, snap peas, and onions tossed in a simple sauce made from soy sauce, garlic, and ginger. Does either of these sound appealing or is there another type of chicken dish you were thinking of? Can we change the subject? Of course we can change the subject. What would you like to talk about next? Uh, can you make another photograph for me? Absolutely, I can help with that. What would you like a photograph of this time? Uh, I'd like a photograph of Father Christmas dressed as Superman. Sure, you can continue. What specific scene or subject would you like the photograph to feature? Uh, Father Christmas dressed as Superman. I'm unable to create the image you requested because it doesn't follow our content policy. If you have another idea or a different subject you'd like a photograph of, feel free to tell me and I can help with that.